Hi guys, this is another video from Phil Evangelinos in relation to the breaking news on JW.org about resuming the ministry. We've been waiting for some time for this announcement to come through. The people have gone, the witnesses have gone back to the Kingdom Halls, but on the 31st of May on JW.org we saw this uh, announcement, the breaking news, that they're going to the ministry. So the announcement reads that the governing body informed all branch committees that they may now resume all forms of public witnessing, of course with the exception of the door-to-door -door ministry, which is very important. Its branch committee, the announcement reads, will examine the local situation in its branch territory, taking into account any governmental restrictions, and it will soon provide direction to the congregations. According to Romans 13.1, we rejoice that we will all have additional opportunities to share the good news of God's kingdom with our neighbours. So that's the announcement. And the last verse they quote is Matthew 28, 19 and 20. So what does that mean in plain words? Is that they will be resuming their cult ministry shortly, but not the door-to-door -door ministry. One can only assume that they stay away from this trademark activity because of legal implications it is i think it is quite possible that people will complain that once that jehovah's witness start knocking on the doors they will start saying they gave us the virus they knocked on our doors they were very close to us and so the Woodstar doesn't want this threat of legal action looming over their heads they have enough court cases as it stands for them to worry about being sued for another uh, one, another major one, which is the door-to-door -door activity. So that makes me think that this abstinence from door-to-door -door witnessing is here to stay, especially now that other pandemics making their appearance. So instead of alarming their members by saying we are never going back out in the ministry, in the door-to-door -door ministry, they just say they will take into account local governmental restrictions and then direct local congregations, which really is the same thing as never going back because these pandemics are here to say to stay. They are not they are just the new norm now for all of us, these new pandemics. So if this is the case, then the door-to-door -door ministry will be phased out for good, especially under this pretenses. What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section. Now, I don't remember Jesus Christ including a clause in his famous words in Matthew 24, 14 about pandemics, which are the famous words that Jehovah's Witnesses use about their ministry. I don't remember him saying that this good news of the kingdom will be preached in all the inhabited earth, unless there is a pandemic, in which case you have to stay indoors and start writing letters without having your address on the envelope so people cannot display back to you. I don't remember Jesus ever saying that. I mean, I think, if you think more about it, okay, if the preaching of the good news is crucial for people's salvation, all Satan has to do in order to cancel it is to create a global pandemic and job well done. Right? Jesus' command has no buts in it. You will have to preach the good news of the kingdom despite of pandemics, despite of wars, despite of pestilences, despite of famines, earthquakes, and all the other plagues of the time of the end. Okay? Otherwise, how can you possibly claim that you are God's chosen people to warn the nations, to be witnesses? for Jehovah. That's what have been, they have been saying all along, haven't they? I mean, can you imagine Noah refusing to be a preacher of righteousness for 120 years because of the threat of the Nephilim, the massive giants, attacking him? There was no such consideration. It doesn't work this way. Now, interestingly, the first apostles preached the good news despite the dangers the dangers of pandemics, okay, because in actual fact, the Woods Tower for decades has doubted the fact that they are the only ones that follow the first 
century Christians' footsteps. And all the other Christian denominations are just the apostate Christendom. Isn't that what we have been told over and over again in the Watchtowers? And they just don't follow their example. They just do exactly what the first Christian apostles did. So how did the first century Christians respond to pandemics? We do actually have recorded history that shows that they didn't behave in the same cowardly manner that 21st century Jehovah's Witnesses do. It is there all in the history books. Ancient Christians knew pandemics all too well. They lived in a world where no vaccines and no understanding of basic hygiene existed. Now, during these plagues, uh, periods, there were periods in Roman, in the Roman Empire, the Christians made a name for themselves. During the Roman times, there were plagues where the Christians really excelled. Historians have suggested that the terrible Antonine plague of the first century, which might have killed at least one quarter of the Roman Empire, led to the spread and not to the demise of Christianity. As Christians cared for the sick and offered a spiritual model whereby plagues were not the work of angry gods, the angry gods of the pagans, but the product of a pagan creation in revolt against a loving God. But the more famous epidemic is the plague of Cyprian, which it was named after the bishop who gave a colourful account of this disease in his sermons. Probably a disease related to Ebola the plague of Cyprian helped set off the crisis of the first of the third century in the Roman world. There was a crisis of conscience for people watching the Christians behave in a very good manner. But it did something else too. It triggered the explosive growth of Christianity. Again, growth, no demise. Cyprian's sermons told Christians not to grieve for plague victims who live in heavens but to redouble efforts to care for the living. His fellow bishop, Dionysus, described how Christians, heedless of danger, took charge of the sick, attending to the, their every need. So, now, a century later, the pagan emperor Julian complained bitterly of how the Galileans, or the first Christians, were called. They cared for even non-Christian sick people, while the church historian Pontianus recounts how Christians ensured that good was done to all men, not merely to, household, to the household of faith. In fact, it has been recorded that the death rates in cities with Christian communities may have been just half that of other cities because of the charitable spirit of the Christians helping the sick and the needy. Now, that was all down to the charitable spirit of the Christians for which the Woods Tower is totally void. Remember, only a few months ago, this, the war victims fleeing Ukraine. You remember the pictures and the photograph. Recently, escaping the borders by greeting, by greeting and they were greeted by Jehovah's Witnesses that carried only a banner of JW.org, carrying nothing else but just that. No food supplies, no medical supplies, whereas right next to there, there were so many charities offering stuff to people escaping the war. This is nothing like the first, Christian, first century Christians did. It's exactly the opposite. Now, what about the stance these first Christians took as regards the ministry? Did they cower under the pressure like Jehovah's Witnesses do today? The bishop, I mentioned earlier, the bishop Cyprian reprimanded the, the, governor, the governor of Africa, warning him that these plagues was a sign of the times of the end and the sentence that God has passed on the world. These were evils that were multiplying because of the last times. Judgment Day, Cyprian said, was near. The plagues were God's tribes and scourges. So he told him, stop your superstitions, nonsense, and worship the only true God. Can you imagine Jehovah's Witnesses doing that? Have they ever reprimanded any human government in any kind, shape or form? I know they print these half-hearted articles or, or, or they put them on jw.org with small letters just in case anyone notices 
that pandemics are part of the sign of the end, but that's the only thing that do, they do. When it was the last time, they led a worldwide campaign from door to door, warning people that these pandemics are scourged for God, from God for the unbelievers. When did they do that in the last few years? When, whether you agree or not, that was what the first Christians did. They boldly went forth and they reprimanded political leaders at the time about their take on this kind of plagues. Now, the Watchtower is not interested on proclaiming any dangerous, unpopular message of that sort because they are more interested in keeping their members nullified and their bank accounts full. So, this is the latest update from the Watchtower and we all look forward to see Jehovah's Witnesses back on the stand where they pretend to be statues and they're so easily uh, to approach and especially from us apostates and you know explain to them about what is going on in their religion so um, I, we're just waiting to see if there's going to be any attempt in the future to go back in the door-to-door -door ministry but I will just keep an eye so that is for me guys for the time being You'll find the link to this article on my website below. Please like and subscribe and uh, please let me know uh, what you think in the comment section below. Um, so, uh, and I suspect to you soon. Bye for now.